Today I want to talk about minimalism, or I guess at least the the theme or the idea of being more minimalistic and whether that is Christian, whether it's it's biblical, whether it's it's good for a Christian to do. Let's discuss. My answer is yes. In most cases, I think at least being more minimalistic is good, and I think it's something that that we're called to. A few a few Bible passages that kind of align with that. Matthew chapter 6 verses 19 through 21. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and decay destroy and thieves break in and steal, but store up your treasures in heaven where neither moth nor decay destroys nor thieves break in and steal for where your treasure is there also your heart will be. In Luke chapter 12 15 a little more concisely take care to guard against all greed for though one may be rich one's life does not consist of possessions. Summarizing what both of those are kind of saying is life is not about accumulating material possessions. Our life on this earth is not about accumulating wealth, accumulating stuff, um, less material things and uh, more heavenly things. We should store up our treasures, like it said, not on earth, but in heaven. And the idea of wealth in general is something that all over the Gospels Jesus warns against. Um, he says it's harder for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven than it is for a camel to pass through an eye of a needle. Um, we have the rich young man who comes forward and says, Lord, I've, I've done everything. I follow the commandments. What more do you want from me? And he says, sell everything that you have. Give it all away. And the rich young man can't follow him. It's this wealth that Jesus warns against. And it doesn't necessarily mean poverty, um, like, for example, like the Franciscan friars take a vow of living in poverty. Um, that doesn't, it's not necessarily what we're called to, but uh, in, that, in that same light, the, the Franciscan friars seem to be happy living in their life of poverty. So what does, what does that say for us? Because I think that has some significance too, that if people, if those people can willingly take up their poverty and give away the material possessions, um, which is a, a, a pretty extreme minimalism and still be happy there, then what does that say for us? I think it says that we can do more and be more with less. So minimalism in the sense of not having so many things or not focusing on accumulating so many things is good for us. And, and I want to talk briefly about kind of what does, what could that mean for us? What do, what does it mean to be more minimalistic? What, what can that look like? And I have actually, um, I've kind of embraced that idea a little bit over the past few years and, and especially in the past few months, the idea of of being more with less is something that has become more attractive to me, honestly, and it's something that I kind of embrace in my life. So a few examples of ways that uh, I tend to be more minimalistic. Food, for one, in both like presentation and in what I eat. Um, like in, in the cupboards in my kitchen, I have like uh, two plates, two bowls, uh, two forks, two spoons, like I don't have much. I have like a, a, a pan and a pot. Um, I have like a, a rice cooker. Like I I don't have many things, but even even beyond the, the number of things I have, and I it's because I, I don't I wouldn't use more than just the two that I need. But in what I eat, I eat mostly the same things. Pretty a minimalistic diet, you could say. Um, kind of the same stuff. Clothes is another thing that uh, especially now is something that relatively new for me in the past, maybe like month or two. Uh, maybe you've noticed in every video I've made for the past maybe month or so, I've been wearing this same like plain gray shirt is because I've started transitioning actually my wardrobe towards a, a pretty minimalistic, like I have like 10 of these plain gray shirts. I have like uh, a few pairs of black shorts and black pants and like black socks, and black shoes. A, a lot more minimalistic approach to my clothing. I tend to have less stuff in general, especially coming back for the school year. Um, I, I don't have that much in my room and it's a little more open. And I guess this is maybe a different category, but the idea of uh, being a little more minimalistic in the busyness of our lives, not 
doing so many things, not involving ourselves in so many things, which is something that I'm still working on. But the focus of all these things and on, on other things in, in my life would be to be less focused on earthly things, to be more focused on heavenly things. For example, if I'm if I'm eating a pretty consistent uh, pretty consistent foods, I don't have to think so much about what I'm going to eat throughout the day because I've, I've struggled in the past with having so much food focus that frees up my mind not to think about it so much, spend more time in prayer or more productive things. Um, clothing, I don't have to think about what I'm going to wear every day because it's, it's kind of all the same thing. So it not only um, provides me more mental space, not have to deal with that, more time not to have to deal with that, but it presents something as well in the way that I present myself that my my clothes aren't so important to me that I need to you know dress myself up nicely every day. Um, having less stuff in general leads to literally more space in your life, more room to be, not feel so clogged up by having so many things and and having less activities and less responsibilities and less busyness in your life leads to more mental space, more time, more time to focus on prayer, productive, heavenly things. So I do think that being more minimalistic in our approach to many different things for you it could be, um, you know, clothes, it could be just overall the way you present yourself, hair, makeup, accessories, anything like that. Um, stuff in general, if you have a lot of stuff, if you feel like, if you can look around like the room that you're in and think, man, I just, it's so, it's so packed and you have a lot of things, especially things you don't use. Um, maybe, maybe give some of them away because, uh, it frees up a little more space and it says something about, I don't need all these things. My life isn't focused on accumulating all these things and they're more important things in my life and busyness and activities and maybe even minimalizing your routine and the regular things you do every day, um, to create more space for productive, prayerful things in your life. I know at least for me recently, uh, trying to be more minimalistic in things like food and clothes and stuff has freed up a lot of space and has done something for me. Um, it's kind of a, an, an outward way of saying that all this stuff and all these earthly things are not so important to me. Like if I can give away things um, and if I can not not care about what I'm wearing so much and, and not be so focused on food or anything like that, it says something about what's more important in my life. So I think whatever way it makes most sense for you, they take a look at your life, take a look at um, things that, that you have or things that you do that could be minimalized, um, things that are maybe excessive to to step back from those a little bit, to, to put aside some of those things, give some of those things away, offer some of those things up, to spend more time with the Lord, to create more time in your life, and to create more mental space, to be able to put aside these earthly matters and to focus more on things of heaven.